Hello, this is block number seven. Again, we will talk about technology. Remember, this is a block that advocates to bring more energy managers into industry and other big energy users. The big question today is, do you still have fans with belt drives in your air handling units? If you have, it is time to change. You are losing money every day and having many other disadvantages. In developed countries, maybe 80% of your competitors changed already to the state of the art. Also for compliance reasons, maybe. During my career with Siemens, I still saw many ventilation systems with fans that were driven by belts. They have many disadvantages. They consume about 33% more for the same airflow. They cost more to install. The wheels for the belts must be exactly in one plane and the belt must be held at the uh, right tension. The belts are noisy and are also a bit dangerous for your hands. Uh, they need more space. They need maintenance and this causes also the worry that they can fail on the wrong moment. And that is mostly always. It's more difficult to make them modular. Usually you have one big fan that delivers the whole required airflow. With direct fan units you can realize a demand of, for example, 60,000 cubic meters per hour with an array of two by two fans of each 15,000. This gives redundancy and thus security. security. Let's look better to the energy consumption. In a belt drive, the energy is lost in the following stages. The variable speed drive or electronics which regulate the velocity of the motor. The motor itself, the belt, the fan and the flow channel. For the direct drive, most of these items also lose energy, but less, because they are fine-tuned on each other. It is one monolithic optimized unit. Direct drive fans work also on another than aerodynamic principle. One or more of them build up pressure in a box from where air channels depart. That gives more freedom of choice. With a traditional fan system, it is more the velocity created by the fan it is to be maintained with as little as possible direct changes of the air. That causes sometimes difficult choices. Let me tell you a story. In a large Swedish hospital between Stockholm and Göteborg, the huge fan of the ventilation system didn't work anymore. And to replace it required large objects to be moved through narrow spaces. All the air was moved by this big unit and the hospital really had a problem. The new solution was an array of 15 plug-in fans which formed together a big blowing wall. It was easy to bring the pieces into the ventilation area of the hospital without breaking walls. And the old fan had to be cut into pieces and after that it was also easy to bring it out of the same space in the hospital. This is one of those technologies where the new solution uses at the same time less energy and delivers more. Counterintuitive maybe, but it is simply the result of a big efficiency gain, which allows to have more output with less input. And you, where are you waiting for? Next month you can start to enjoy a cash flow from savings and at the same time all the collateral benefits mentioned above and multiple benefits. Why procrastinate good things? If you want to know more about this wonderful technology, please subscribe to the newsletter by following the link below this video. If you are not curious, please support, in any case, me and the energy transition in the industry. How many persons insist with so much persistence that we need more energy managers and still it is so obvious? If it's not obvious, write your thoughts in the comments. So please support me and subscribe to the YouTube ch channel. Also like the video and visit the link tree in the text under the video to see my other blogs and school. See you next time.